Hello everyone, this is General Hand Grenade. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. I got a bit of time to make a video today. I, I, uh, I was going to go out and launch my boat for the first time this year. Um, this weekend my son and I were supposed to go up. But then I got a text message on Friday morning and uh, we were going to welcome a new member to our family on, uh, later that day, which we did. A uh, new granddaughter has arrived and she's healthy and everything and everybody's fine so we're pretty excited about that. Anyway, it's uh, Sunday morning, so I thought I'd make a little video. Um, recently, I got another shipment in the mail, and they are these uh, Combat Miniatures. Richard from Combat Miniatures shipped me a whole bunch of these things, 20 of them. Uh, you need 19 of them to play a game. So this is Shipyards. Um, this is his version of a shipyard, and they turned out really good. Of course, it was white. Uh, most of them were white. Some of them were the uh, the the clear plastic, the the more expensive ones, that the frosted altar detail, and they were actually a lot nicer. I hadn't had uh, two of the same item before from Shapeways that was frosted altar detail and the regular plastic, and so I didn't realize just how much better the frosted altar detail were. Um, it wasn't uh, like the detail was obviously better, but what really impressed me was um, the strength of the plastic. Uh, because the white stuff is uh, is not very strong. So I'm going to use these now. What I was using was this, like I have this. But what these were, these were, like, they came like this. They were white, right? And they came from Shapeways. And they were like that. And, and the problem with that is that you can't fit them anywhere, right? Like, like, how do you fit them, you know, like in here, for instance, if you were to have a shipyard in here. And that's not where you would have a shipyard, but, but like, that's just too big, right? And so what I did was I cut them in half. Uh, take a look at that. So what I did was I cut them in half, and so I could just use one of them for a shipyard, right? Um, but you know, to me it looked kind of silly. Like it, it didn't look uh, it didn't look proper. Like to me this this looks mm -hmm. this looks right. You know when you have uh, the the way it was supposed to be. And these are from Ebart, and he did a nice job with these. But they're just too big for the game. Like they're I think four centimeters long. And so cutting them in half did work, but it, it, it just, it, I, it, 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 I wasn't happy about it, right? So anyway, I was pretty happy when, um, when uh, Combat Miniatures decided to make their own shipyards as well. And I like these, like you, you see there's a crane on these ones. And so he did a nice job of, of, of putting a crane on. And basically what they are is they're kind of like their naval base, uh, kind of like this naval base here. Uh, it's got a dock on it and everything. It's just, the only difference is... That it's got that crane on it and the difference in the game of course is that you can build um, um, the big ships with it the capital ships and so of course you need that crane right so anyway uh, I just wanted to show you what it looks like um, all set up so these ones here these will go back in my box over here this is where I keep all of my uh, all of my facilities you know like the, uh, the sub pens and you know, there's uh, E-Bar's Victory Cities there, and, and for when I'm playing Axis and Allies, there's the Neutrals. Uh, I've got these that I haven't even used yet, uh, Oil Derricks, and all that other stuff. Mines and dock guns and stuff. I guess I don't need this one anymore either. So he can go back. So let's just take a look. Uh, like here, let's set this down over here. And uh, this game has been going on, uh, we haven't, I haven't played much since the last time I made a video because it's summertime and, and I've been busy and my friend's been busy. But I like the way they turned out. I like them much better than, than the other ones. And I like the color, um, the color that I painted them. So like you've got your silver here, which is the air base, and you've got your gold, which is the, which is the uh, shipyard. And then you've seen the color of the naval bases. I made that, that color stand out as well. So there's three shipyards over there. And there's one shipyard down there in uh, San Francisco. The rest of them are on the other side of the board because um, because the uh, the British don't get any on this side of the board. Like it would be nice to have one over here, right? Um, but yeah, the, most of them are over here in Europe. So there's one over in the Crimea over there. And then there's a few down here in the Mediterranean and up there in Normandy and up in the Baltic Sea there's one there like the I like the color see even though it's in behind all that black German stuff there you can still see that there's a shipyard up there because the color stands out 
and there's a few up in the UK out there there's three of them and then there's four over in the eastern United States over there you can see that so anyway it turned out really well there's one up there too yeah anyway they turned out really well I'm, I'm really happy with them and I, I, uh, I thank Richard for sending them to me I didn't, I didn't even pay for them he just sent them uh, so I'm really really thankful for that um, so what, uh, what I'm going to do with my other ones, my old ones, um, my old shipyards, um, in, uh, I believe 2019, so next year, another year from now, you know, let me just zoom that out again. There we go. In another year from now, this game is going to go to, uh, another version of it. I think this is version two, what we're looking at here. So the, in version three, and they're not uh, completely sold yet. They're still doing um, play testing and stuff, but um, they're going to be doing a, probably at least two more different types of naval bases. And one of them will be uh, would be either uh, called a minor shipyard, or might be called a dockyard, or they might be um, both of them. They might they might add both of those uh, types. And I think really what the reason is is because. Uh, especially for the UK here, if you build a, a capital ship with the UK, uh, aircraft carrier or uh, a battleship, the only place you could possibly repair it is if you take it back home to the British Isles up there. So you're down here with you know, with your battleship and you've got to sail all the way around the world just to get that thing repaired. Um, and of course you can't build any down here, you can't build any over here in, in Australia which really sucks. I mean, you've got you've got those sculpts in your box, and you can't ever use them. So I could see them putting um, whatever they want to call it a, a dockyard or a minor shipyard, either here or in the Far East Command here, and then at least you would be able to repair a British uh, battleship and and uh, a British aircraft carrier. And of course, uh, they wouldn't just be here. I mean, they would be around the board in in various places. And I don't know if you'd have as many shipyards after that. You might have as many, but uh, there'll be more dockyards. And, and also, there will be uh, a smaller type of naval base, like it'd be called a minor port or something. And um, that would just, uh, I think the reason they want to do that is to give more access for land lease. So there'd just be more bases on the board. And um, they were thinking about maybe even printing those bases on the map because there's an awful lot of bases in this game, right? And so that that add, uh, that adds to the cost big time of playing uh, of building this game when you have to buy all those bases. Like in this in this version here, there's 65 naval bases. That's the just these naval bases. That doesn't include the shipyards. And so um, and I think 36 air bases. And so they might print them on the map so you don't have to go out and buy them if you don't want. But I think I still would. Um, I, I, I just like having these on the board, you know, like where you have your shipyards and you have your naval bases and you have your, your cool air bases, right? Um, but anyway, so I've got those uh, old ones that I've still got and they will become the dockyard or the minor shipyard or whatever it's going to be called. And then I'll have to, if there's another type of naval base, I'll have to get another sculpt for that. So anyway, for me, if if I do decide to switch over to version three when it does come out, then I will at least uh, all I have to do is just buy hopefully only one kind. But I, you don't know; like they they don't know yet. They're just playing around with it right now, um, trying to decide what the next version of the game is going to include. And there will be different types of terrain too. There will be uh, there will be desert, I believe. Um, there will be tundra. There will be jungle um, and whatever else. Uh, they, they put a video out on Historical Board Gaming's YouTube channel. Um, it's a very long video, but it's uh, if you wanted to find out a little bit about what they're doing, that's uh, that, that'll give you an idea. And you can see they're arguing about it. Not arguing, but, you know, debating. What should we do? Do you think this will work? Things like that, you know. And they were asking people who were watching the video at the time. Uh, it's too late to comment on it now, but they were asking people at the time what they thought and everything. So, anyway, um, so I'll have a head start on the next kind of base, whatever that's going to be. So, anyway, uh, thanks again to Richard at Combat Miniatures. I, I love the new bases. 
I love the way they turned out on this board. Um, and uh, not much going on around here. It's summertime and um, board games aren't a high priority around my house in the summertime. Uh, it's not that I love them any less, it's just that there's lots of other things to do. In the winter time up, up north here, there's uh, a lot less uh, to do outside unless you really like the cold weather and you have a snowmobile or something. But I don't and it's that's not my thing and so uh, that's when I'll be playing more games. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get through this game. Uh, I'm looking at in another month or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer, going up to Edmonton. Uh, driving to Edmonton to play a game with Rank Carcass and his brother and anybody else that might want to play from his, his play group. Uh, I might go down to Vancouver and play a game, a couple of games maybe. Um, I was talking with Gargantua a week or two ago and uh, he's going to have a game down there with, with uh, Sneaky Carl who's coming up from the Bay Area so I might get in on that. And who knows, maybe I can uh, maybe I can get in on a game with Hilltop Pillbox. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that'll be in another month or so. And if I do, then I'll, if, the, if people will allow me, then I'll film those games and, and uh, show you what's going on. But until then, that's about all I got here. Just, uh, just the new shipyard. So take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade out.